The E300 is comprised of three modules. First, we have a sensing module. The sensing module can operate at amperages between 0.5 and 200 amps. It can sense current, ground fault, and voltage. Next, we have the controls module. The controls module can operate at 24 volts, 120 volt, and 240 volt. Finally, we have the communications module. The communication module has two embedded ethernet ports. The modules click together very simply like so. Hello, my name is Jeffrey Eaker, and I'm the Rockwell Automation Boston Territory intern for the summer of 2015. What you see today is our E300 electronic overload relay demonstration. In the top right hand corner is a 24 volt power supply which is powering the toggle switch in the top left hand corner of your screen. This is lit up green and used to turn the demo on and off. In the center of the screen you see an IEC configured motor starter. At the top you see a surge protector and directly below a 120 volt contactor which is connected to the E300 electronic overload relay directly below. The E300 comes in 24 volt, 120 volt, and 240 volt models and it is controlling a motor which in this case is a load emulating a much larger motor in your manufacturing facility. When we turn that motor on using the green push button directly below the on off switch which is illuminated, that motor will start to move and draw current. When we stall the motor by holding the fan, that current will surge and increase. That overload current will be seen in the web server and Studio 5000 demonstration later in this video. After a certain amount of time, the E300 overload relay will overload and turn off the contactor. Thanks, Jeff. So what you're seeing here is Studio 5000. If we go over to the controller organizer, and then go down to the E300 and double click it, we'll open up the E300's add-on profile. Add-on profiles are part of Rockwell Automation's premier integration strategy, where if you're using a Rockwell Automation device, the Rockwell Automation controller, such as Control Logix or Compact Logix, becomes very simple to configure the device. Here, in the General tab, we can name the device, as well as set up the IP address. If we go to Overload Protection, we can set up the trip class, the full load amperage, the reset level, so how cool the motor needs to become before it's safe to restart, and we can enable an overload warning. The overload warning is nice because the E300 can set out an alert when the motor is becoming too hot. This way you can avoid a trip and prevent downtime. Now if we go to the device tags, you can see another nice feature of Premier Integration, where all of the device tags for the E300 have logical names. So if we go into the configuration tags, you can see full load amperage at 5 amps, the reset level, and the warning limit again, just like we did in the add-on profile. You can also see inputs for the device. So if we scroll down, we can see the percent of thermal capacity usage, the average percent of full load amperage, and the average current. You can also see all of the useful output uh, tags also. So this has been a short overview of the E300's premier integration into Studio 5000. Next, I'll pass it to Ryan to go over an alternative way to configure and monitor the device using a web browser. Thank you, Charlie. An alternative way to configure and diagnose the E300 is through the web browser. As you can see, the same parameters and tags visible in Studio 5000 are also visible in the web browser. Now we will demonstrate an actual overload trip. The motor normally operates at 3 amps. We have the full load amperage set to 5 amps. Now we will push the motor to an overload state. You can see that at 12 amps we are 250% full load amperage. On the device monitor screen you can watch the thermal capacity usage climb and it will trip at 100%. Below, we can see the overload time to trip, which will give us a countdown to when the overload trips. Finally, we can observe the time to reset, which we have set to 75% of the thermal capacity so that the motor cannot be reset until at a safe temperature. This has been an overview of the E300. Thank you for your time.